national policy benefits firms for supporting carbon capture use and storage. A specific public health policy is the 45Q tax credit. Firms receive credits as rewards for captured and controlled carbon in metric tons. Qualified firms can sequester carbon to produce consumer goods. The tax credit is exclusive to qualified facilities in the United States. Credit granted to firms is dependent upon specific requirements. Various government representatives developed the framework for the tax policy. 45Q was official in 2008 during the Bush administration. Congress described the benefits in the Energy Improvement and Extension Act. Power plants and industrial firms were early participants. Participation increased as the policy evolved. Trends emerged as support from corporate stakeholders increased. The ethanol industry and other industries currently capture carbon to receive the benefits. Energy production was a focus of the Energy Improvement and Extension Act. Leaders identified an opportunity to incentivize capture and control initiatives. Lawmakers focus on the industrial facilities and power plants during the creation. The act established a framework for carbon mitigation. Corporations could qualify to earn tax credits. A point of interest was firms associated with large carbon footprints. The federal government provides market-based controls for environmental protection. Firms can administer the best practices to achieve pollution prevention targets. Another instrument is industry-based command and control standards. Many of the standards are general and honored throughout the nation. An example is the Clean Air Act. The 45Q policy is a government program incentive. Market-based pollution control standards enable flexibility in compliance as opposed to uniformity. Stakeholders set objectives to mitigate carbon to a specific quantity. Firms seeking tax credit can receive benefits for credits earned. 45Q is a tax credit, not a carbon trading market-based incentive. Carbon capture and control by a firm equates to an allocated credit value. Firms can use the credits to receive an income tax reduction. Carbon mitigation and abatement are different actions with interchangeable meanings. Engineering controls and technology are instruments used to reclaim a substance. Carbon capture technology can capture and control carbon. Captured carbon flows in the process to a geographic storage formation. Aquifers, reservoirs, and other geographic storage formations trap the carbon. Firms can control procedures to reduce emissions into the ambient air. Ambient air conditions can impact commercial and residential property. Carbon and other gases released outdoors also impede the indoor air quality. Ground level ozone in small doses is a health hazard. Nitrous oxide is a risk factor when the gas infiltrates developed property. A low concentration of particulate matter is an evident health hazard. An example is the risk associated with wildfires and silts. National policies and carbon abatement programs could reduce environmental harm. Firms can receive incentives for capturing and storing carbon for an indefinite time. Carbon captured and controlled must flow to the store site. A factor of the credit value for carbon is the metric ton amount. The credit value for carbon in the 45Q tax provisions is contingent upon various factors. The government provides credits for carbon reclaimed for a beneficial purpose. Carbon transported to the geographic storage also receives credit. The credits and other provisions are contingent upon the terms of 45Q. Entity seeking incentives to sell or transfer credits. Amended 45Q policies enable the opportunity to earn credits for achieving various targets. Carbon capture and control is one of the main credit generating provisions.